Bledsoe team leaders, how you doing? This is Gary Bledsoe. Um, I wanted to just send a quick video out to you to let you know the importance of help, you know, inviting people to a weekly conference call, to a weekly meeting, to a, any type of event that's outside of what you're doing, even if it's something that you are personally doing. You know, a lot of times I find a lot of leaders, they anticipate what the person's going to say, so they become afraid to ask that person or invite that person to a, a conference call or to invite them to a, a, a weekly meeting or a monthly meeting. They become, and they anticipate it. So that's why sometimes our attendance is, is down as low. In the former companies I was with, my mentors taught me, don't ever, ever, ever try to anticipate what that person's going to say in, in a sense. What you're really doing is you're talking your way out of doing what you really need to do to build your business. Let me just show you in a quick example of how uh, you're supposed to invite people or, you know, one is an example. Remember, there are many other ways, and I'm pretty sure a lot of my mentors who may watch this video will tell you that you can do, probably do it better than what I'm doing it right now. But this is how you should invite someone. You grab the phone, you dial their number. Now, I see a lot of people, what they do is they get an email, they'll send them a quick text message, they'll make a post, on, especially on Facebook, they'll post something, or they'll use Twitter to post what they're going to be doing in hopes of this person joining the call or in hopes of this person coming to the meeting. I'm going to tell you something. Emails, text messages, posts on Facebook, Twitter, or any type of status like that, LinkedIn, they are very cold. However, this device right here can warm them up because this thing that comes out of your mouth, which is your voice, has a way of talking to them in a different tone. For example, if I said, I love you, versus I love you, how that sounds totally different. Same words, just two different ways of saying it. So what I would do is usually what I grab the phone is, I grab it, I make sure I dial that person's number. I do not care what that person's going to say. I do not care if that person's going to yell at me. I don't care if that person's not home. I don't care what happens. What I do is I get on that phone, I'll dial their number, and if I reach them, I say, hey, how are you doing? And I'll give them small talk. How is your family doing? How's everything going on? How's every, you know, thing happening? And then I will say, well, you know, the reason why I called you is I like to invite you to an event that's going to be taking place today. It's going to be a one-time event, or it's going to be, uh, you know, whatever, however verbiage you want to use it. But I, and you want to make sure that you invite them. Say, I want to invite you to the call. It's going to be an hour long. You can mute yourself out. It's going to be very powerful. Powerful and informative, you know, make sure you get a pen and paper, make sure you have these tools available because you can take notes and it can help you build your business. And if this person's not aware are you are where you are in your level of business, you can say, hey, listen, I understand exactly how you uh, you know the level you are right now. I was there before. I remember situations what I went through at that time and how but one thing that I did was I stayed and I plugged into the system and eventually it started to compound out and I was able to see the differences and the growth in my business so what I, I, I hope that you can do is you can get on that phone tonight and you can call now no matter what the response is of that person whether they say no I can't my kids are in town my kids are out of town I'm having in-laws in I'm having a special dinner uh, uh, whatever the situation is whether it's yes I'll definitely be on. I'll de the most important thing you want to do is you want to get hang up the phone and you want to look at that phone right after you hang it up and say, and say, I did my part. I did my part. In other words, what you're saying is you did what you were supposed to do to build your business. You don't get off the phone saying, I should have, I would have, I could have. I should have did it this way. I could have did it this way. I wish I would have did it this way. No. You get off that phone, you hang it up, and you say, I did my part. Then you grab that phone again. You go to the next number, and you dial it again. And you do the same thing. Small talk, then you get right to the invitation. You invite them to the call. You hang up the phone again, and you say, I did my part. I did my part. Then if you grab a phone, and you're a leader that has leaders on your team, you tell your leaders, make sure you get on the phone, and you invite these people. No emails, no texts. You can send those things out too, but make sure you get on the phone and you let them hear the tonality in your voice. Let them hear you talking to them. People need to hear you talk to them. Get on the phone and invite them to the call. That's the only way that you're, you're going to solidify the growth in your business is by plugging them into the system. See, a lot of people try to think that you need to... I've always had this philosophy is if you have a car that has a bad engine, 
and you go out and you get an oil change and you put fresh new oil, you're still going to have a car that's not going to work well. Because you're changing the oil, you're putting new things in to the old mindset, to the old engine. You have to learn how to re-change the engine. The engine has to change in order for the, the oil, the new oil, to take effect. So that's what you need to do. You need to learn how to master the basics. Stay with the basics. Never try to keep jazzing it up, changing it up, re-innovating. Master the basics. Now, you can change the way that you master the basics. You can change the way that you want to get your team to master the basics. But mastering the basics is the power. See, something's getting ready to take place in, uh, you know, in our business in particular. Uh, some calls that were taking place, that were, were, were being done by very, very powerful uh, leaders in our business. Now we're going to make that available to the team in the form of a, a, a CD where people can actually listen to it uh, in the leisure of their call, car, which I call a drive time university. Instead of listening to uh, other people in your car, rock and roll, hip hop, uh, R&B, you could be listening to something that's going to help you get better. And... These CDs are going to be in the form. They're going to be in the form of a CD where you can hear people share their story, share their success, share tips and strategies that's going to help you become successful. See, I always believe that tools are the number one way to build your business, and the reason why they're the number one way is because they bring credibility to what you're telling them. A lot of people are going to look at you as the person you are, but they're not going to look at this CD and these DVDs as what they what they are. They're going to look at them as a third-party tool. They're going to look at them as validation. They're going to look at them as credibility. They're going to hear from someone they never saw before, and they're going to say, wow, this person can do it. See, these stories, these, these type of DVDs, and these type of uh, uh, third-party tools, what they're going to do is they bring an element of uh, making that person who's listening to it to be able to resonate with them, to be able to identify, hey, I live in a town like that. I, I, they may say, I can't do what you do, Gary, but I, you know what? I can do what that person does because that person lives in that town. That person, if that person can make it, I can make it. If that person lives in this type of society, I can do the same thing that they can do. See, third-party tools are so powerful. How hard is it is to say, what I want you to do is I want you to listen to this. I want you to watch this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to you in two days. And I'm going to tell you a little story of how I got started and how I got excited about this DVD. And I want you to tell me your reaction to this DVD. Tell me how you felt about it. What was the best thing that you liked about this DVD or this, this CD? Third-party tools are so important in helping you build your business. It is so important that you make sure that you invite people to the call and you don't worry about what they say. You don't worry about what they're going to how they react on. Your job is to build your business. Your job is to do your job. You can't control what people say, whether they're going to watch these type of DVDs, listen to a CD, or whether or not they're going to join your conference call, or they're going to join your weekly meeting, but you can control your activity. And that's the key, controlling your activity. Thank you so much.